All right, so on this P17 work, we're going to concentrate on the breech seal right here and just cleaning out the barrel. That's it, so we'll keep it pretty short. So, all right, so for the breech seal, uh, I found it odd that, here, let me get back out here. I found it odd that we have a metric seal in the pump tube, but we don't have that here. It's SAE, it's standard O-ring. And I've heard people say it's 009, and no, that, that didn't work. Not, not least the storehouse. So what we need to do is talk about that. Is This is the standard kit from storehouse. And one thing I was going to say that that's exciting is like how Danco is to 880. This is to the P17. The P17 doesn't have any special uh, pieces like a chamber seal like the 880. Just O-rings, four O-rings. And they chose for whatever reason, have at least what I've seen so far, one metric and one SAE up in their breech. And uh, the breech seal. And you know what? It's just one of those things. So this is a $6 kit. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. It's, it's the one right here and let's go ahead and take a look so it's the one at the top and so the dimensions on that they list it as inside diameter first so it's three sixteenths right here it's three sixteenths five sixteenths outside diameter by one sixteenth and that's the one that actually fits these guys right here they're, they're the ones that actually fit in your in your breech and they fit beautifully and that's what I have in there so here's the thing so why they chose it to mix it up like that I, well I don't know but okay so how do you take that out now trying to use a tell you the truth trying to use a o-ring remover there is not the call of the day so take out the taking out the original one I just used a uh, basic pick these are also f like the storehouse these are also from uh, freight harbor freight and it's a basic pick. Now I know some people don't think it should, you should use that, but in a small job like this, the nitrile is cut resistant. I'm not saying spear it, but we just want to get around the edges and work our way around until that pops out of there. Now the main thing, get around it. There we go. Okay. And there it is right there. And I can tell you that this, the original one is the exact same size. It's working great. And I lubed it with silicone and the gun shooting great. So that's how you get that out of there. Now, when would you want to remove that? Like if you change your pump head seal and it's not shooting right still and you feel you're losing power there, change that out and that can solve it. Now, there's two other seals we will take a look at, but that can definitely fix things up for you right there. So let's go ahead and, and put it back in. And that's you just push it in by hand. You don't need to use any tool. And... So that's that. I could I could apply some silicone, but it's already been pretty heavily lubed, so it looks good with silicone. And now let's go ahead and clean out the barrel. And what I like to do for the barrel, I really am a big fan of the FP10. So it's not from the bot. It's not. It's in a better bottle. The FP10 also has an MT10 metal treatment in it. So it's. Uh, pretty renowned for cleaning out barrels and the funny thing is when I look at this gun with all the plastic and metal this is the type of stuff that Shooter's Choice was trying to engineer FP10 for is guns with a lot of pl plastic on it so all right so basic basic patchwork here now the thing about it it's a little it's a little different obviously than some other guns because uh, I hear people complain about how you have to load this oh. So anyway, it was really dirty. I want to make it clear. This gun, other than, yeah, two of my daisies were pretty dirty. But yeah, so then you just push it in through there and just do your basic rod work there. Let's see how this one comes out now. Okay. So this isn't too dirty, actually. It was so much worse. I mean, you should have seen it, it was completely, it has the same red grime as the ones from Daisy. It must be some industrial area in China. This one's not great. I'll go ahead and put it through again and then follow up with some dry patches. So you get the idea. But it was so much worse when I first started that I couldn't believe it really. So, yeah. So anyway, so you definitely want to clean out your barrel. I would use FP10 if you have a favorite, you know, you like to use, that's fine. But yeah, I'll go ahead and dry some, put some dry patches through there. 
So anyway, so that is what we want to do there. I would say definitely um, you don't want to use FB10 on your seals in that in that situation. I would say that you know silicone's good there, but you just you need to use just a small amount. So if you're going to use the silicone on your breech seal, I would just dab it on there doesn't need that doesn't need that much they say it doesn't really need that much but you know and just let it yeah just let it cake just go around there not cake on there i don't want to say cake on there but it just flows around the ring and then close it up and shoot when you're ready i'll shoot a cleaning pellet through here but so that's that's uh basically what i just want to show on this little this little video the next one we're going to get into there's a couple more serious ones getting into the trigger assemblies uh i'm gonna to have to take some time and set up for that the trigger assembly is uh something you don't want to mess around with unless you have to get to the valve assembly where you have a broken spring in there and that's a little bit quite a bit more involved okay thank you